All right, guys, I just woke up. Let's open our weekly vault. You get a little bit of a surprise with our deck profile here for Great White Sharks. Let's see. All right, here we go. Expedition token. All right. Draft token. Okay, another one. 15 shards. Okay, that's the first chest. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, is that it? No, that's just one chest. This is the second chest. Well, that's under 60 shards. That's nice. We do get another Senna, so if we ever want to make a Lucian Senna deck. Uh, is this the one of the diamond chests? Whoa. Wait a second. Okay. We got an Empyrean. That's really nice, so you don't have to craft that. Got another Lux, although I don't know how good Lux is. 508 shards. All right. Diamond chest too, oh boy. Ooh, Will of Ionia, we needed that. All right, more shards, common card, all right. Ooh, more shards, they're common. Common. Ooh, a rare, another rare. Ooh, I've, I've seen this card in, in action. I think this card has potential. That's actually cool too, I like that. And another Laura Blade Keeper, we're gonna need that later on. Another 644 shards. Uh, nothing really special here, other than Green Glade. Nothing really special here. Ooh, four rares this time. Ooh, a fate. Yeah, we were gonna need this because I did get my second Yasuo the other day. All right. So we got one champion wild card, five epics, 13 rares, and 21 commons. Wait, is that how much we got from the chest? Like one champion? Wait a second, collection. Wait, no, not here. Oh no, those aren't wild cards. Yeah, those are just champions. Okay, well, hmm. How much does it cost to make a champion? Damn, it sucks. Wow. Not even a single champion out of the weekly chest. That 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 spells bad news for the weekly chest, guys. I'm sorry. That kind of sucks. All right. That ends this part of the video. All right, guys. This is gonna be a much quicker deck profile. None of the fancy editing this time. Just simply me talking through the deck. This is Swim's Great White Sharkless that he pioneered during the beta. I have not made many changes other than putting in two purify because I'm missing a Lucian. This will go down to one purify once I get the Lucian. Uh, this deck is based off of three early game combos with a finisher off of Hecarim. Those combos are the Ravenous Butcher plus Curse Keeper combo with Glimpse Beyond as well for added consistency for that combo. So spamming four fours quite essentially and killing our opponent with that. The other combo is playing Lucian into Haunted Relic, which will and hopefully like a Shark Chariot or something, which will make Lucian level up here and have double attack and rally which makes him into a monster and he also does have a uh, rally as well when he's drawn so he's actually very good when drawn so you kind of want multiple copies of him because a, a really nicely placed rally will win you the game and the third combo is to wait till you have about six mana in total like six or five mana in total and you play haunted relic and attack with it and then play remembrance right after to get a random five cost follower from Demacia. Usually five cost followers from Demacia. Just Demacia. Are Radiant Guardian, Swiftwing Lancer, and Vanguard Calvary. This is your high roll right here because when something dies and this pops out, it's amazing. This is kind of like B tier. You want this sometime, some of the time, mainly against uh, 
elusive decks, it helps you win versus elusive decks, and it has a lot of value th since it it gives your remembrance a lot of value since you get to create an elite as well after afterwards. And then this is just like your eh, I got I got a five five out of my remembrance. Although he does have tough, so he does trade into other five five. So he's he's better than nothing. Let's put it like that. And then after you play those combos, you play Hecarim and finish off the game. And of course, you know, you play Shark Chariots and you have the Soul Shepherd plus the, where is it, the Haunted Relic combo. You have all these kind of things. It's kind of amazing. One card of note I'd like to add is Fading Memories is a beast. You'll see in the gameplay video if you watch all the way through it. I win with this card. This card wins me the game. It's absolutely amazing. Just being able to steal an opponent's follower or give one of your own followers. One combo I found as well is using Faded Memories on your Silver Wing Vanguard after you summon it because it will give you another two Silver Wing Vanguards which do get Ephemeral so they do get buffed by Hecarim in the second stage and they do get buffed by Soul Shepherd and they do count as Ephemerals attacking for uh, Hecarim as well so it's kind of a nifty card Fading Memories is it gives you a lot of options in the deck and the reason I'm running Purify is just simply elusive OP please nerf you know eh. There's a lot of other situations where Purify helps against, like, I believe it takes away uh, Freeze so that you can trade properly, etc. So that's one usage of Purify, I believe. I haven't, I haven't actually tested it, but I believe it works like that. I haven't really had a need to test it. But yeah, that's, that's the deck so far. It's been amazing. Uh, the only thing I would probably change is I would probably try to find a way to put Radiant Guardian into the list itself because of how powerful she is. I don't know what you'd have to get rid of because uh, I don't know what you'd have to get rid of, but like it would be worth it. Maybe like one Vile Feast or something. Something like that. One Vile Feast, one Glimpse Beyond, something like that. To get, like, double Radiant Guardian, because this card's insane. I'll have to, like, test it later on. But, yeah, that's the deck profile, guys. I'll see you later in another video. Here's the gameplay. All right, we're going to be going up against the Freljord Ionia mix. Probably going to be the elusive variety, because that has been the most meta deck. Uh, we do have the Remembrance and the Haunted Relic. I really hate keeping this hand because of the frickin' not attacking first, but whatever. We do have the Hecarim as we're even. Alright, see what our opponent does. Opponent does nothing. Can we play the Shark? I can't remember. Oh, we are attacking actually, so yeah. We can play the Shark. Because then, yeah, because when I play the Haunted Relic, it summons the Shark back, so this is better for later. He's going to play the Adversary and Inch Sentry. Alright, he's not playing the usual list. So, he's playing more of a control -y list, probably, or mid rangey. He's going to go to four, and then play a one drop, and then it'll go to six. Nothing escapes yeah. my watch. And, okay, so. Okay, so three, four, I play one, it'll be at three, and then seven next turn. Seven. I just need three mana left, so... So, yeah, we can play the Feather Fleet Tracker. Alright. Sorry, you're doing a lot of math there, because... Doing a lot of math. Let's hope he doesn't have the deny, because the deny is gonna suck real hard. Play the haunted relic. Oh, we could have played a two drop with it. That sucks. Oh well. We could have played the Vanguard Redeemer actually. Oh, it's okay. That's fine. Shit happens. Actually, we can play both because yeah, I'm gonna get four, and then if this dies, oh, he's thinking on whether to die or not. I'm gonna guess. Oh, he does have it. He has the deny. Okay, so... Can we still do it? Yeah, we can still do it. We can still do it. Alright. Does he have the second deny? That's the question. The order rewards its faithful. Yep. Does he have the second deny?
We're gonna steal the elusive here if this goes through. And he does not, but he's out of mana, which is perfect for us. Thank you. Look out for reavers. Ready the torches. Actually, this is gonna be at one mana. We don't have well, we could play that. That's not worth it. We'll just have two extra mana for next turn. Our opponent is going to draw two, that's Light completely fine. One mana uh, remembrance, this is insane. I wish we could have played it for zero, but shit happens. That's what you get for denying it, bud. Gonna deny the remembrance instead, but they don't have much knowledge about this matchup. We do get the challenger one, that's really nice. Value town. End round. Next turn, we can, well, next attacking turn, we can play Hakarim, so should be ready for that. We'll get four minions, well, three minions in total because of the shark. Play the Omen Hawk, all right. Do I have anything to play here? Not really. I mean... Play the Vanguard Redeemer for a better swing next turn. Okay, Our we can do that. We can play the Vanguard Redeemer. Uh, Alright, he's gonna play here. the Highway Hitman. Nothing else. Stay safe. We are gonna take, it from take that with this, or play the Purify on it, depending. Pass. Is he gonna attack? Alright, fell into our trap, motherfucker. Yep. Purifier! Purify! Anyone gets that meme reference? And it end turn. So if he plays anything on it, we can just sacrifice it for card draw. Or Hecarim. I'm gonna play Hecarim and then see what he has in response here. He does have the Night 40 Watchman. He's gonna go up to four minions. Dual protector, okay. Alright. We're just gonna swing in here. We strike! Swing in with this, steal that. There you go! That's more like it. Our opponent is going to take a juicy about three. I'm gonna block two of them. So 10, 13 damage, so he's gonna be at two. So our opponent needs to be very careful in what he's going to do this turn. We're going to draw something from the Swiftling Lancer. Going to draw, oh wow, one of the worst oh, ones. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Okay, that's funny. Like one of the worst ones. Okay, we're going to be five sixes. Okay. All right. If he doesn't have a way of dealing with Hecarim, he's dead, I believe. We have the second one as well. The fading memories. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Steal that. Thank you. Everything's better. Makes you think twice about attacking with it. Thank you. We don't want any. All right, he's gonna play that. Anything else? I mean, I could play another blocker, I guess. Yeah, that is correct. I'm actually here. <laughs> the dark really? Bigger. Really? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> really? Wow. I believe we win here if we just yeah. Play the Soul Shepherd. Oh, the journey ahead is long. See what our opponent does. Is he Demacia? He's not Demacia. Our strength is yours. Uh, that's a little dumb. We're gonna play the Hecarim. So we're gonna get. We will not hesitate! Four, right? Yeah. We're gonna get rid of some of his board here. And that's exactly why I did what I did. So that there's six threes. Just looking out for the public. Yep. You cannot escape. Alright. This isn't part of the All right. training. Stand and defend! All right. Do this, draw two. Yep. Is he gonna counter it? 
That'd be interesting. We can survive one more turn. Injustice. We do get a Vanguard Redeemer, so that's more draw off the top, and the Silver Guard Redeemer. Hang on, I mean, Silver sir. Guard, the Silver Wing <laughs> Vanguard. There you go. Master. English. I'm gonna play the Vanguard Redeemer. He does have a way to kill Hecarim. We do have the second Hecarim in hand. You'll soon Usually it's not best to use this, by the way. I would not use this. Okay. Play the Vanguard Redeemer. Remember the Fallen! The Cursed Creeper, which is not worth playing. We do get Fading Memories, so we can play any of the elusive units if he tries to play one. You'll want to give me some space. Promise. Can I grab it? Thank you. Thank you. I believe it gets rid of any buff it had. And, and that's why you use uh, fading memories, My guys. Wings, but they'll fly. And that's why you use fading memories. <sighs> uh. Alright, he's gonna play one card to deal with this. And that's not it. This will summon three. He just doesn't have enough creatures to block all this. Alright, he's gotta have something. He has gotta have something. And that's how you play Great White Sharks, everybody. Have a wonderful fucking day.